The next concept we are discussing is interference. It is also called as interference of light. This concept was discovered by Isaac Newton. So we can experience the interference pattern of the light in Newton rings interference experiment. So according to the scope and view of the experiment, the interference definition can be given like this. There are two light waves which may be two are incident or one is incident and another one is reflected. That means two light waves. passing through a same medium are incident and reflected from a same medium or onto a medium when these two light waves try to overlap with each other this overlapping can distribute in a form of waves or circularly polarized waves this phenomenon is called interference two light waves trying to overlap on each other there will be a wave pattern or wave lets wave fronts can be observed this phenomenon is called interference that means what we can understand in the interference so whenever in Newton's rings experiment uh, what we can understand is <coughs> there is a retard stand for this retard stand they will arrange a glass so on to the glass, one light is incident. This light can refract the light. This glass can refract the light. This is from the sodium lamp. Due to the refraction, this light will bend. Here, one spherical lens is placed. Actually, lens is a material can transmit the light. So just the below surface or under beneath of the lens, one black colored paper is placed. So because of that, this black color paper acts as a reflector of the light. That's why that incident light and reflected light and their intensities of these two waves try to overlap on each other. So along the circumference of this length, we can observe dark and bright fringes consequently and simultaneously. It has appeared as a fringe pattern. So what happened here is the light waves which are incident and reflected try to overlap on each other because of their overlapping their intensities and energies were distributed in a form of wave or wave fronts. This phenomenon is called interference. This interference is of two types, constructive and destructive, we will discuss now. Interference and intent. This concept we first demonstrate the experience in the Newton. So, the Newton's interference experiment. This is the light waves. Rundu incident is reflected in the incident. This is the light waves. This is the medium of travel. This is the overlap and overcome. Try this. Now, two waves of intensities, energies, or a wave form low align out. This phenomenon is interference center. Then, when we allow demonstrate, we have to take a retard stand. This one, a retard stand key, or a refract index on it, or a glass. This one, this glass key, 45 degrees angle low, or a sodium lamp on the light source. We emit this. Now, this glass refraction will. Total internal reflection is going to be light wave 90 degrees angle or reflect out. So, here, one lens is going to be lens and light is going to be transmitted. 
మనం ఎలాంటి ఏ విధమైనటువంటి ఫినామినల్ని అబ్జర్వ్ చేయలేం అబ్జర్వ్ చేయడానికి ఈ లెన్స్ కింద ఒక బ్లాక్ పేపర్ పెడతారు ఈ బ్లాక్ పేపర్ ఏం చేస్తుందంటే లైట్ని అబ్జార్బ్ చేసుకుని కొంత కొంత రిఫ్లెక్ట్ చేస్తుంది సో ఇన్సిడెంట్ లైట్ యొక్క ఇంటెన్సిటీ రిఫ్లెక్టెడ్ లైట్ యొక్క ఇంటెన్సిటీ ఈ సర్క్యులర్గా ఉన్నటువంటి ఈ లెన్స్లో ఈక్వల్గా డిస్ట్రిబ్యూట్ అవుతుంది దీనివల్ల మనకి వేవ్ ప్యాటర్న్స్ ఏర్పడతాయి దీన్నే ఇంటర్ఫీరెన్స్ ప్యాటర్న్ అంటారు ఈ ఇంటర్ఫీరెన్స్ టూ టైప్స్ కన్స్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫీరెన్స్ డిస్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫీరెన్స్ ది ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఇన్ ద ఇంటర్ఫీరెన్స్ ఈజ్ కన్స్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫీరెన్స్ what is this constructive interference if two waves are in the same phase maintain in the constant phase difference according to the superposition principle their intensities will be added and their frequency also will be added so what is the meaning of that let us consider two waves this is one wave this is the another wave this is from source 1 this is from source 2 so according to superposition principle the resultant wave is of the same double of the amplitude and in the same direction its amplitude will be doubled that means the source one is releasing a wave which has the amplitude a or a1 it has the wave which is released with the amplitude a2 so a resultant in case of constructive interference is a1 plus a2 if a1 is equal to a2 therefore it is 2a so in case of constructive interference the intensities will be added amplitudes will be added and which can gives the wave which is of the addition of the amplitudes and will move in the same direction of the two waves so a resultant will become 2a what about the intensities is proportional to a square so repeat its intensities the resultant intensity is proportional to the a square therefore i resultant is equal to 4 i not this is in case of constructive interference in constructive interference the wavelengths frequencies and intensities all will be added both will be in the same direction in constructive interference lo rendu sources nunchi vache waves s1 and s2 amplitudes what ki amplitudes a1 a2 anukunte ee construction of కన్స్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫీరెన్స్లో సూపర్ పొజిషన్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ని మనం అప్లై చేస్తాం ఈ సూపర్ పొజిషన్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ వల్ల యాంప్లిట్యూడ్స్ యాడ్ అవుతాయి సేమ్ డైరెక్షన్లో రిజల్టెంట్ వేవ్ ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి యాంప్లిట్యూడ్స్ని యాడ్ చేసి ఒక మ్యాక్సిమమ్ యాంప్లిట్యూడ్ వచ్చే విధంగా మనం రిజల్టెంట్ వేవ్ని అప్లై చేయొచ్చు సో దీనివల్ల ఏ రిజల్టెంట్ ఏ వన్ ప్లస్ ఎయిట్ అవుతుంది టూ ఏ అవుతుంది అయితే ఇంటెన్సిటీస్ ఎప్పుడు కూడా స్క్వేర్ ఆఫ్ ది యాంప్లిట్యూడ్కి ప్రపోషన్గా ఉంటాయి కాబట్టి ఐఆర్ అనేది ఫోర్ ఐ నాట్ అవుతుంది
సో ఈ విధంగా మనం కన్స్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫీరెన్స్ని డిఫైన్ చేయొచ్చు so in constructive interference the two waves are in the same phase that's why the resultant wave is of the sum of the amplitudes but in case of destructive interference the two waves are out of phase let us assume the two waves of 3.5 lambda this is from the source one of amplitude a1 let us take the another wave from this source to if you consider these two waves these two are in the outer phase direction so when two waves are out of phase their resultant amplitude is a1 plus of minus a2 nothing but a1 minus a2 is equal to 0 that means the resultant wave is almost seems to be a straight line so like this like this so if amplitude is zero automatically i intensity is also zero so in destructive interference or in the pattern of the interference according to the destructive interference context it will seems to be a dark bands will be appeared means a band which is fully dark so this is the reason for the alternative arrangement of dark and bright fringes in interference pattern interference pattern lo unna second example ante destructive interference indilo rendu sources ni teesukunte ee rendu sources nunchi ganaka light waves okka dani kotti opposite direction ni align ayinappudu ante ee rendu waves ni mana out of phase waves anochu ee out of phase lo unnappudu amplitudes em avutayi ante a1 plus of minus a2 avutayi endukante ఒక దాని కోటి ఆంప్లిట్యూడ్స్ ఆపోజిట్ డైరెక్షన్లో ఉన్నాయి సో ఏ వన్ మైనస్ ఏ టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో సో దీనివల్ల ఐ ఈజ్ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు జీరో సో ఎందుకనంటే ఆంప్లిట్యూడ్ జీరో అయింది కాబట్టి రిజల్టెంట్ వేవ్ ఒక స్ట్రైట్ లైన్లో డాటెడ్ డాటెడ్స్గా వస్తూ ఉంటాయి సో ఈ విధంగా ఈ డిస్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫీరెన్స్ వల్ల మనకి డార్క్ బ్యాండ్స్ ఫామ్ అవుతాయి అందుకే బ్రైట్ బ్యాండ్స్ డార్క్ బ్యాండ్స్ ఆల్టర్నేటివ్గా ఈ డిస్ట్రక్టివ్ కన్స్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫీరె